So let's think about lipedema differently. So lipedema is a loose connective tissue disease. And the problem within the loose connective tissue and lipedema is that there's fibrosis and there's edema. So if we think about edema and fibrosis, when we look at the stages of lipedema, in stage one, the skin is smooth, but if you palpate the tissue, you can feel the nodularity to the tissue. So there's fibrosis deep under the skin. When we look at stage two, you can see that there are there's dimpling of the skin. So now there's fibrosis, not only in the loose connective tissue, but also in the skin. And then in stage three, there's also a lot of fibrosis, but edema starts to play a very big role. So for a cartoon of that, in lipedema, the fluid is bound up to glycosaminoglycan. In lipedema, the fluid is lymphedema. The fluid is also bound up to glycosaminoglycan, but also free. And if you have lipedema, you can progress to lymphedema. So lipedema appears to be in the spectrum of lymphedema. The proof that we have for this um, came from Shelley Krasinski at Vanderbilt University and her group. And she showed that extracellular water was higher in the loose connective tissue of women with lipedema compared to women that did not have lipedema. And these were women who were matched for age and body mass index. So the question is, do external pneumatic compression pumps help with this new understanding of lipedema? And my answer would be yes. We know that lymphatic pump treatment improves lymphatic flux, so it's helping move that fluid out of the tissue. And we also know that hyaluronin and glycosaminoglycan, so hyaluronin is the most abundant glycosaminoglycan in that extracellular matrix, that, that all of these leave the extracellular matrix with increased lymphatic flux. So it makes sense that anything that you can do to improve your lymphatic pumping can help move those glycosaminoglycans out of the tissue.